Hey, it's Jillian from Lovely Loops. We asked our students what they struggle with when they use Procreate for lettering on their iPad, and we got over 1,200 responses, and one of the most common questions was, how do I make my work look more professional? So we've been analyzing what the pros do and what makes their work look different from the beginner, and have boiled it down into three steps. First, start with a dimensional backdrop, then use textured letters, and then add a final touch element on top. We're going to show you how to do each of these three things using elements from design cuts to apply to your own work, plus a bonus tip at the very end of the video. The first step is using a dimensional backdrop. Using some sort of background other than a plain color makes a huge difference. An easy way to do this is to use an image of a texture, such as paper or paint strokes. This set from Design Cuts has tons of professional options, and to use it, just open your file download, um, I'm using Dropbox, and copy and paste your picture into Procreate. You'll need to drag the image layer below your lettering layer, and you can also resize it to zoom in on a specific area. The other cool thing about this download is that it also comes with a Procreate file containing all of the 4D textures already, so that you don't have to scroll through the pictures and import them individually. You can just import the whole Procreate file into your gallery and then scroll through the different backgrounds using the checkboxes to hide the layers. Once you find one that you like, you can experiment by changing the hue, saturation, and brightness, and you can also change the blend mode of your lettering layer to give it a different effect. So you can see that even a subtle texture can bring the piece to life. The second way that the pros make their work stand out is by adding texture to the lettering. A really easy way to do this is by using a specially designed lettering brush. I recommend sketching your letters first, then reduce the opacity of that layer, add a new layer on top, and trace over your lettering with the new brush. You may need to adjust the size of the brush just to make it fit. If you've ever tried creating your own brushes, you know how many settings there are and how long it takes, but there are actually artists out there who spend hours and hours creating custom brushes to behave in specific ways so that it looks amazing with the lettering, and that's why we love using design cuts, because these brushes are available for download and immediate use. Another way to add texture to your letters is by using a clipping mask. On top of your existing letters, add a texture image and then change that layer to a clipping mask. Step number three is to add a final touch on top to pull it all together. You can do this by adding glitter around the edges or something like watercolor splatters, chalk dust, or simple dots and lines. Adding highlights and shadows is another popular way to add this final touch. So to summarize, the three design elements are number one, using a dimensional backdrop. Even just a small amount of texture or variation in color brings the entire piece to a new level. Number two, use textured letters, either with a custom designed brush like this chalk one or by using a clipping mask. And number three, adding a final touch either around the edges like this chalk dust or with shadows and simple embellishments. We'll get to the bonus tip in a minute, but we just wanna challenge you to take a piece that you've done in Procreate and try adding one of these three elements. Let us know how it goes. Also, if you're wondering where to find elements like this, you can look on designcuts.com and scroll through high quality professional options. We've also done that for you already and picked our top five favorites and bundled them together at a 50% discount that you can get below. Each item in the bundle has dozens of options, so we highly recommend scrolling down and checking them all out. And since they are digital products, you can use them for a lifetime. Unlike a brush pen, which eventually runs out of ink, these design elements can be used an unlimited number of times in your projects, and you can make adjustments to them to use them in countless combinations. Also, they've all been created by designers to make it super easy for you to use so you can save time, have tons of options, and quickly make your work look more impressive. Just look below this video to get instant access to the elements so you can start adding dimension, texture, and that special final touch just like the pros. So now our bonus tip, another way that the pros make their lettering work stand out, and that is planning their compositions so that their lettering layouts are interesting and eye-catching. An easy way to do this, the secret weapon, is using a grid builder. You can quickly put together a grid for laying out your quote, add a new layer on top to letter on, and then hide the grid, then continue adding the other three elements that we discussed. So next time you're scrolling through Instagram and something catches your eye, try identifying which of the elements are being used and know that you can do it too. So make sure you check out the bundle below. Thanks so much for watching and we hope that you have fun incorporating these design elements into your work.